I'm back in the middle of the mountains where I left my bicycle after visiting the Philippines for a visa run and surfing trip. Before the Philippines, I was cycling around Taiwan from north to south along the east coast. For the ride back north to Taipei, I decided to cycle through mountainous central island. My first day on this route was challenging. The roads were very good, but it was getting too steep without shoulders. The night temperature dropped as I climbed up 1,000 meters. It was a really cold night at an altitude of 1,700 meters. I was happy to wake up as a several layers of clothes helped me to sleep well. It was an expensive tourist area, so I was worried about finding a camping spot last night. But here I got a little corner to sleep. Last night, I didn't have a dinner, so I went to into the town with a heavy meal. And here I found the best 7-Eleven. I ate as much as I could to continue my uphill ride. The weather was beautiful with a perfect blue sky, so I cycled without any hurry. One of the reasons Taiwan is good for bike touring is yeah. that every police station is designed to help cyclists. You can get free cold or hot water at any police station and use the toilet as well. Today again, I had to keep getting off my bike to push, especially when there was a car. At some point, it was quite steep with an incline up to 12 degrees. When I look at the road from a distance, it looks easy but it was much steeper than I expected. The fog was getting thick and the road was so narrow that every car drove very carefully. Fog was moving so fast that it seems the clouds were moving even faster than I could bike. It was difficult to find a camping spot because the road was basically on a cliff side. Luckily, I found a camping spot. I had some food to stay warm. The night temperature was 3.5 degrees Celsius inside my tent. Oh, it's so cold. My thumb was cracked from dry air, so I had to put on bandage. Then I curled up in my sleeping bag for the night. I'm always happy to wake up whenever I do wild camping because it means I survived in the wilderness alone. It was a hidden spot where I was not worried about strangers coming. But I didn't sleep super well since the ground was bumpy and sloppy. I had fruit and the oat bars for the breakfast. It was funny to me how all the bags inflate like balloons at this altitude. I made a cup of coffee to melt my cold body and start my morning ride. After having coffee, I pack up to start my day. My campsite here was quite cramped so moving around the wall is a bit tricky. I left my bicycle down here last night because it was too difficult to bring it up. I was glad everything looked okay. Now I had to bring down specs one by one to the road. It was not easy camping, but still I appreciated I didn't need to cycle late at night in the middle of the high mountains. At noon, temperature was 5 degrees Celsius. The clouds were so thick and covered everything. I pushed my bicycle when it was too steep and pedaled whenever the road was more forgiving. Being stuck in the cloud is one of the most amazing experiences, but riding in the cloud was definitely very dangerous. Near the top, temperature dropped to 3 degrees Celsius. <laughs> and I had to stop every step due to lack of oxygen. I remember the last time I saw such an amazing show of fast moving clouds was in New Zealand. It was great to see a repeat here in Taiwan. My bicycle was fine before, but since I started cycling on this steep hill, the chain started jumping badly when it was more than 10 degrees incline. It was one of the reasons I had to push my bicycle very often. From here, I could see the top. It was really nearby. But because of the lack of oxygen, I couldn't hurry. In the distance, I also saw a number of cars stuck. This was definitely not an easy place to come up with even cars. I was really surprised that Taiwan has such amazing high mountains 
which you can't find on the Korean Peninsula or Japan. Cycling Olling Pass is one of the most epic bike climbs in the world. The road tops out at 3,281 meters above sea level. This must be a top attraction in the eastern side of Asia, and I feel so proud to cycle through this awesome place. I truly appreciate all the road workers. I could see the pass was just up ahead. Finally, I reached the top. Oh, wing. Ah. My chain was jumping so many times I push and jiggy-jagging. Oh, many cars. I get nervous. But here I am. In general, I love down here so much. But this was an exception. My fingers were frozen and it was too steep to enjoy. Also, I must be very careful to avoid hitting cars. I had the felt that my brakes were not strong enough to stay on the steep downhill. So I stopped very soon to adjust front and rear brakes. And here we go. I could feel my brakes working well now, so I was less nervous. A police officer asked me if I was going to Hualien. You know Hualien? Li Oh, okay, okay, okay. Thank okay. Due to the earthquake, some roads were blocked for safety. But I was going to the opposite side, so it was no problem for me. Unfortunately, my speed was slower than traffic lights, so I was stuck on the side where a car passed me in the tunnel. Ay, 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 There was still a long way down here to go. Now, it was much easier with less cars and gentle descent. Let's play tag. I was it, saving a bus. Gotcha! There are many fun curves, and I enjoyed the scenery of Taroko National Park. I arrived in a beautiful Lishan village located at 1,900 meters above sea level. I was relieved to arrive safely. In the next few days, there are a lot more down here to go. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned for the next video. I just reached the top. So cold, but feeling good. And look at this beautiful nature. Slow by slow. Enjoy nature and yeah, <laughs> it's a good feeling. <sighs>